Alrighty, so let's look at 0600 hours. Alright, so our first lesson on time. And we're actually going to try and knock over two today. So they're very quick ones, and I'm not going to make you do too much. Um, but we're just going to have a look at both of these because they're quite easy lessons. So I'll split this video up into two, and I'll just do two bits of ones. Okay, so there are two ways to show the time of the day. So you've got 12 hour time, so um, just a conventional way of using AM and PM time. Um, of the hours between 1 um, to 12, okay? So, you know, you've got 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, all the way through to 12 o'clock. And then 24-hour time is a more formal way that uses four digits, and it starts at double O, so you'd say, like, um, O, like, O300, or, you know, well, sorry, O030, o which would be, like, you know, 12.30 in the morning, um, and it goes up to 23, and there's, you don't use AM or PM for 24-hour time. And we've got two types of clock faces. So we've got the analog clock, okay? So the time on this particular face here right now, if we zoom in, okay? So shorthand tells us the hour, longhand tells us the minute. So the shorthand, because it's pointing, it's just a bit after the 10, okay? So it means it's pointing at, um, towards the 10, just a bit after, so it's 10 o'clock. And then the minute hand, okay? Every one of these indicates how many minutes have passed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 10 or 11 minutes. Um, I'd say closer to 10 minutes, okay? Because it's in between the 10 and 11 and it's still going around. So this would be a 10 past 10, okay? Or almost time for period two. <laughs> and the other type we have is a digital clock and these are pretty easy to read. First number is just how many hours, second number is how many, um, how many minutes. Now, the other thing that you need to know about a digital clock is usually it has a like a little button the button but like usually a little light that indicates if it's AM or PM because just from this you can't really tell um, but yeah so usually something that's like AM or PM okay so if you need to convert between 24 hour and 12 hour time okay so triple zero is midnight okay 100 is 1am 0200 is 2am 0300 so on and so forth to get to <coughs> excuse me until you get to 1100 okay so 1100 is 11am then we got to 1200, which is 12 p.m., which is midday. So that's when um, it goes from a.m. to p.m. Is that the midday? Okay, and when it changes to 12. So 12 is when it switches from being p.m. to a.m. Then for the 24-hour time, we keep going. So it goes up to 1300, but the 12-hour time then drops back down to 1. Okay, and then 14, 2, 15, 3, 16, 4, 17, 5, and so on and so forth. Okay, so here's an example. Express 8 25 a.m. in 24 hour time. Okay, well that's pretty straightforward. Okay, 825 because it's in the morning. Okay, we don't really have to convert it. It's just 0825. Okay, so the first two numbers represent the amount of uh, hours. So 8 o'clock in the morning being 0800 and the 25 minutes being the, well, the 25 minutes left over at the end. Okay. And I'm hoping that there is another one. Yep. So write 16.15 in 12 hour time. Okay, the easiest way to do this is to, uh, because it's bigger than 1200, so it's 1200 hours, is you just take 12 away from 16. So if, what's 16 take away 12? Okay, so 16 take away 12 is four. So it's 4.15 p.m. Okay, that's pretty much it. So I'll leave a couple of questions for you guys to have a go at. And that's pretty much it.